I've had several clients ask me about a new feature in version 2022 that just came out, which is nesting of WTs, which is super awesome. Been waiting on this for years, and I know a lot of you have as well. So I want to show you how this works in the system. Um, I've got a requisition here with WTs on it. And so we're going to need a net seize against some wide flange. Now, if I do the normal, um, if I go requisition and combine, and I'm going to change this here. If I go to this uh, and point towards this bean supplier of warehouse, and if I'm molten this, what you're going to find is that it's just going to molt against WTs, which is not what I want. So there's some setup here that needs to be done. Um, First of all, if I go shapes, grade, sizes, you're going to find that if I go down to wide flange, there is a new tab here for splits. And so you can see if I go on down, 6 at 20 is, can split into WT 3 by 10. Now, that's our, this is already going to be in your system in version 2022. It's not, nothing you got to do, but I want to point out that that is there. So you could really add additional if you want to, kind of like some uh, offset tees if, um, if you wanted to. But there's um, there's setup that's already done. Now, a minute ago when I pointed towards that warehouse supplier, the reason it multi against WTs is because there's a WT option in this pricing maintenance. So one thing you're going to need to do is set up a pricing maintenance that um, by default mine is pointing towards this Yamato for beams and you'll see there's no WT there so you're going to need to set up a pricing maintenance that has no WT in it because if you point towards the pricing maintenance or the supplier that um, has a WT in it it's going to multi against WTs but if you point towards a supplier that does not have a WT in there but just has wide flange then you're going to be able to do your WTs. So that's a little bit of setup that you need to get done there. Um, so what I'm going to do then at this point is I'm going to go ahead and combine. And you'll see that I'm pointing towards that Yamato one that does not have any WTs in it. So now when I'm molting this, we'll find that it will molt against beams. And now you'd be like, okay, why do I have WTs here? Well, if you look here, this is saying this particular piece of 7 at 17 is being split from a 992 14 at 34. So, and then these are the pieces that are coming out of that one. So, for instance, um, you can see the pieces that, um, as I go up through there, these are the pieces that are coming out of this 55 footer. So, this is going to be basically one side of the WT. Now, when I hit Save Displayed Results and Close, what I'm going to what I'm going to find is that it will nest those on the on the wide flange. So, if I'm looking at this 24 at 207, I've got two 2210 tens and two 31 nine and three quarters. I can go to the split details here, and it shows me both sides of the of the wide flange with the particular pieces coming out of it. So. Now, I'm not going to take the time in this video to really kind of dig into adding parts, removing parts, and doing all, all of that jazz, but it, it works pretty much like the um, uh, manual combining um, where I could add parts on the requisition to here if I wanted to. Uh, but this works pretty nicely. Uh, give it a shot. Play with it. If you've got any questions, please let me know.